we are today a very independent watch manufacturer. We, of course, we weren't that in the beginning. A lot of things in the beginning we had to buy and purchase because there was no infrastructure here. Today, we are far more independent. So from what we can do from construction, from research and development into production, we literally can do watches completely ourselves. We at Lange don't make any difference between finishing of a movement from our watch from 16,000 euros or the grand complication 1.9 million euros. The finishing level is the same. It is a philosophy and we all believe in that. And you feel that if you go through the manufacturing, the people have an enormous amount of passion. The different plates and bridges of a longer movement are finished with a so-called perlage. Hundreds of small overlapping circles are achieved with a rotating grinding tip. Unlike most other finishes, the circular graining is applied by rotating the part around the tool. It is used on round shape like wheels. The contours of all framework components are given a matte finish to create that beautiful contrast with the polished edges. Here you see the three quarter plate of a Lange One. Here an end piece with a Chaton and Ruby of the 1815 receives the flat polish. Here you see how the technical polishing of a functional surface is done on the hard lever of the datograph up-down. The fine lines in the parallel direction are achieved by sliding apart in one direction over a piece of emery paper. At Lange, the bevels on most parts are polished by hand, at an angle of 45 degrees. Sharp inner angles are particularly challenging. Here, the upper part of the tourbillon carriage is chamfered and polished with the help of the Anesca tool. The steel component needs to be carefully finished on both sides. The most challenging finish technique is performed on very few components like the tourbillon bridge. This can take up to several hours. The balance cock is engraved by hand. This handwork turns each Lange watch into a one-of-a-kind treasure. The flourishing elements are inspired by historical Lange pocket watches. I don't think that, at least at the top end of our industry, there will be a change in demand over the next 20, 30 years. It's an expression of your personality and as long as that's the case, there will be people that like fine watches and as long as they are fine watches, I'm pretty sure that we can come up with watches they will like.